Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel High Mathematics and really interesting and tricky challenge today that confused a lot of students on the exam. It looks like basic and easy challenge, but a lot of students goes wrong and I wanted to record this video. Before solving this video, I suggest you to choose one option where do you think is correct. We have A, B and C, so choose one option where do you think is correct and write your option down into the comment section and I give maybe 99% that you solve this question absolutely wrong. Okay, so right now let's try to solve this challenge. So we should simplify this expression, but before solving this expression, I want to write this a little bit easier expression for us. For example, imagine that we should simplify this. We have square root of, for example, 9. Everyone knows that this is equal to equal to uh, 3, but in this way, but in another way, we can easily write it in another way as a fraction. So we can easily write it as 9 to the power. So right here we have 1, yeah, and right here we have 2, because this is a power of this square root. We don't use this always, but we can easily uh, know that this is equal to 2 right here. So as a result, we have 9 to the power 1 one half, which is equal to three. We don't need it right now that this is equal to three. We should know how can we express this from this way to this way as a fraction, okay? And let's uh, write once more example. So for example, we have we have square root of five, five cube. Yeah, we can write it in another way. We can write it as five to the power. So this power of this value goes to our numerators of three. And right here we have two. We don't use this always, but we can easily write it as three over over two, okay? Okay, and one small case. Let's write, for example, square root, uh, let's write, for example, cubes root of 17 to the power 5, something like that. We can write it as 17 to the power 5 over 3. Yeah, you then the same logic. But if you look closely, it implies that we always divide uh, right here by the power of our square root. This is maybe the key moment right here. I want you to understand that we divide by the power of this square root. In this case, we divide this by 2. In this case, square root of the same square root, we divide by 2 once more. Right here, cube's root, we divide it by 3. And doesn't matter what power we'll have, we should divide by this. For example, fourth root, we will have power 1 fourth. Yeah? For example, we have square root of mm, fourth power of uh, maybe 3 cube. Yeah? Something like that. We could write it as 3 to the power 3 over over 4. So we divide it by this power of of our root, okay? So something like that. And this is the key moment right here. So we always divide by the power of our of our root, okay? And in this case, let's look, let's look at our question. Maybe we have like a complicated expression, but doesn't matter. We have our square root of 20 to the power 20 to the power 20. One part of student divide this power by two, another part of student divide this 20 by two because we have square root, but this is a correct answer. Right now, let's look at the correct answer. So this is equal to 20. This is our base, and we divide this base by the power of our of our root. In our case, this is square root, so we divide this power by by two. So we have twenty to the power twenty to the power twenty, and we divide this by two using the same logic as before. Okay, okay. So right now we have the same base twenty, and right here we have twenty to the power twenty. This is a product twenty times twenty times twenty times a lot of twenties. And the last number, the last value is 20. So right here we have 20 times 20 times 20. We have 20, 20 times. So we have 20 numbers, 20 values right here, and we divide this 20 to the power 20. So in this case, 20 times 20 times 20, 20 times. We divide it by by 2 because we had this 2 right here. Okay, <clears throat> let's cancel 120 with this 2. So right here we have we have 10. Yeah, and we cancel with this 2. So right here we have 1. So as a result, we still have this 20, 20. And right here we have 10 times 20 to the power 20 uh, to the power, not to the power 20, right here we have 19 times. Yeah, we have, we cancel with 120, but we still have not 20 times, but 19 times. So times 20 to the power, to the power 19. And this is a correct answer to this challenge. Brilliant and tricky challenge. A lot of students confused on the exam about this question. And I hope you solve this question like me. I hope you choose a correct answer to this, to this challenge. So let's write our answer. Try to answer. Our answer. This is 20 to the power 10 times 20 to the power 19. Okay? This is my explanation to this challenge. If you still have any question, write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to about it. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you still have any question, write your question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.